Uh, I got a concussion. I'm expecting to wake up soon, but they're going to keep him overnight for observation. Oh, I'm so glad you're both okay. Jason, do you know who ordered the ambush? I'm uh, pretty sure that it was Alcazar, and it almost worked. All right. Um, I know you're going to want to wait here until Sonny wakes up. I'm going to stay with you then. Sam, now that you know everyone's okay, we need you to get back to work. to finish the opening title sequence. Everything's set up at the Metro Courts. Production staff is waiting. Fast approaching overtime. Jason? You sound scared like that. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Fine. So, so sorry. Let's give him a minute. Yeah. What happened? Uh, you know, concussion. I'm expecting to wake up. They're just going to keep him overnight as precautionary. Oh, thank God. Okay. You should go see him. You know, I, I, I don't want to bother you by doing that. No, it's not about that. It'll bother me more if you don't go see him. So come on, I'm walking. Okay. Wait, Jason was almost shot to death. But he wasn't. Jason's perfectly fine. Do you know your honor? Do not blow this job off because of me, okay? <sighs> Listen, both of you have had your say. Now I'm going to have mine. Just becoming a TV star thing is really fun and exciting, but I love Jason. I get to be around when something like this happens. You said you were committed to the project, and now the first time there's a conflict, you're ready to bail? Conflict? You call what happened tonight with Jason a conflict? I call it a calculated risk that goes along with the life that Jason appears to have chosen. No, excuse me. You know nothing about Jason's life. Listen, my choices have controlled everything since you and I got together, okay? The show is about you. It's a choice you're making, and you need to do it. I'm going to be fine. Sonny's going to be fine. If he wasn't, I would ask you to stay with me. You have things to do for yourself. Sam, you've got to do it. But Jason, really, what about you? I'm, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to wait for Carly. I'm going to go see Sonny, and I'll catch up with you. I thank you. My staff thanks you. Just the man I'm looking for. Is it true? Is Lorenzo Alcazar behind the ambush at the cell tonight? As I understand it, you and Sonny were at Carly's old abandoned club tonight, taking a trip down memory lane, I guess, or something equally as innocent. And some gunmen uh, ambushed you and they intended to kill you, and they probably would have if it weren't for these two um, strangers, Cooper Barrett and um, Logan Hayes, who came to your aid. I mean, it's bad luck for those would-be assassins because, well, they're all dead and you and Sonny were able to get away. You know, I can't you know, say Lincoln, without Lincoln. my attorney. Oh, that's a surprise. Are you going to arrest me, Rick? Not today. Jason, I assume you already know that the dead men were traced back to Venezuela. I believe that was Alcazar's home base. I wasn't going to let anyone know that I was here. I just heard that Elizabeth wanted okay, to leave. Okay, okay, you don't have to explain. Okay you don't have to explain. And you don't have to worry. Dr. Lee gave Elizabeth something to help her with the contractions, and it seems to be working, and she should be able to carry the baby to term. I know that this is hard for you, but I think that I can help. How? Well, I can be a source of as much information about the baby as you want. You would do that? Well, it's the least that I can do after the amazing sacrifice that you've made for my brother. I just, I just want my baby to be okay. Love it. It's good. All right, let me just change the lens. <clears throat> Hotel security is holding a bunch of reporters outside, but they're creating a disturbance. Okay, wait a minute, Marty. They are probably here about the shooting. I'm going to just go out there and give them a quick no comment, and I'm sure they will go away. You give us a minute. Look, as upsetting as the attempt on Sonny and Jason's lives might be, we cannot buy this kind of publicity. So we need to take advantage. It wasn't easy to come to terms with all this, especially the everyone cheats on everyone else part. But this way is best for the baby, and maybe knowing that will make it easier for you. Spinelli is another story. What do you do? <laughs> he freaked out, and he thought that the baby would be born and you wouldn't be a part of it, so he showed up with a video camera. 
the way I handled it. Well, thank you. You know you're so involved in everybody else's life. How, how's your life? Huh, what life? Jeez. Well, we had a close call, but we managed to convince this little baby girl or, or, or boy that there was no need to rush. <laughs> yeah, we'll be ready with even more love when it's time. Yeah. That's what a baby needs. Um, I actually have to check on, on Sonny. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah concussion, but he's, he's going to be fine. Don't talk to the press about these things, which means it's probably best if I don't either. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but Jason and Sonny are gangsters, or alleged gangsters. Either way, they generate a lot of media attention, most of it negative. You're a TV host who's been linked to both men. You need to take the limelight they have afforded you, downplay what they do, and talk up your own thing. I don't know, capitalizing on this just feels so cold. Well, it's a cold world, or we wouldn't have a show. That's why you need to take this opportunity and make it count. I thought Carly was here. She's come and gone. She tell you. Tell me what? She got engaged to Jax again. But it doesn't matter because I could, you know, like, she can't get married till I sign the divorce paper. Oh so it gives me five months Sonny, to do what I Sonny, have to do. Sonny. Come on, Carly doesn't. She doesn't want to be married to you. You're saying I should give up? No, I'm saying just because you love someone doesn't mean that everything's gonna work out and you can get back together. Now, sometimes the best way to love someone is just to let them go. Jason has no idea who was behind the attack on the cellar tonight, but it does make you stop and think, doesn't it? I mean, what would you do if you suddenly found yourself the target of random violence? How would you handle it? First, you don't give in to panic. Pay attention to your surroundings. Look for a way out. No one likes to imagine worst-case scenarios, but a little mental preparation and, and forethought could be the difference between life and death. Will this be the focus of everyday heroes? Yes, as a matter of fact, it will. Look, anyone can be a victim. We only remain one if we don't react with clear thought and calm action, which means no rash moves. And they can haunt us for the rest of our lives.